Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a radial filter, or maybe two radial filters, to add a vignette to your image so that you really put the attention on the subject. We're going to start out with an image that looks like this, and end up with an image that looks like this. Many of us, to finish off our images, will add a vignette as the last step. Now, when someone is looking at one of our images, they will tend to look at the brightest part of the image and look away from the darker part of the image. So if you add a vignette, particularly a darker vignette, it will tend to force their gaze more towards the middle of the image or, depending how you applied the vignette, more towards the subject in the frame. Now, Lightroom makes it very easy to add a vignette. You could go to the Effects tab, and there's an Amount slider, and to add a dark vignette, you simply move this to the left. Unfortunately, on this shot, I don't think it looks right. This was an eagle that was in an enclosure at the Buffalo Zoo, and something was in the background on the left-hand side of the shot that is very dark. And when I add the vignette, it gives the effect is we're looking at the eagle through a periscope, and I really don't like that look at all. But I still think if we add a vignette, it will make the eagle pop a little more. So what I often do is add a vignette with a radial filter. The advantage of using the radial filter is you have total control of where you're putting it down. Also, you could control a little bit more with it, and if you want to affect more than just like darkness on the edges, if you want to do sharpening or add some clarity or something like that, you could do that as well. Also, you could add more than one. And in this case, you're going to see that I'm going to add two vignettes to this image to make that eagle pop a little better. So I'm going to go up to the radial filter. And what I want to do is add a dark vignette. So I'm going to move the exposure slider to the left. And I want the darker part to be on the outside. So I'm going to uh, uncheck the invert button or un uncheck the invert checkbox. And what I'll do is I'm just going to quickly draw out like that. Now you can see it's brighter in the middle, it darkened all the edges. What I often like to do to begin with is to fit this vignette to, or fit this radial filter to the image. And to do that very quickly, just draw it out like I did, then hold the command or control key. And it's command if you have a Mac control if you have a PC, and just double click anywhere inside of the circle. And when you do that, it will automatically fit the vignette to your image. So it's just touching each of the four sides. All right, so we have this vignette. Now I could come in and adjust it as I, as I want. I could adjust feathering as well. But really, this vignette is no better than the vignette if I use the amount slider in the effects tab. It's still making this side over here on the left a little bit too dark and it's giving that kind of periscope kind of tunnel look that I want to avoid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition and resize this vignette. And to do that, what I'm going to do is zoom out. So I'm going to go to the left panel and go to one to four. I think that'll be good. If you need to go smaller, you could go to like one to eight or something like that. Now, if I just come in and draw this side to the left, it's going to draw out the right side as well, as you could see. And I don't want to do that. I want the vignette to stay over here. So I'm going to undo that. So what I'm going to do to just draw this side out is I'm going to hold the Option key in on my Mac. If you have a PC, it's the Alt key. And when I do that, only this side now will get drawn out. And you can see it's basically removing the vignette from the left side of the image. And I think I'll do the same thing for the top as well. Just pull that up a little bit. And it removed the vignette from over here. So, so far, so good. Now I'm going to go back and fit the image to screen. So I'm going to go back to the left panel and at the top, click on fit. So we have that fitted to screen now. Now we have this vignette on, but it's still not what I want it to be. If we go to before and after, you can see it made everything a lot darker. Now I could go to the feathering slider and pull feathering down and it will brighten up our eagle, but it's starting to give us that kind of periscope tunnel look again, and I'm trying to avoid that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a second vignette. So I'm going to go to New, click there. 
Now this vignette, I'm going to make it brighter in the middle. So I'm going to turn exposure up and click the invert box. Now what I want to do is I want to pull out a pretty much a perfect circle to begin with. To do that, hold the shift key in when you draw and you'll draw out a perfect circle. Just like that. And I'll reposition it now. Like this. And maybe I'll, I'll spin it a little so the handle is more going in that direction. And then maybe I'll draw it out now. Like that. And I could come in and I could affect feathering a little bit, make it a little less feathered, to brighten up the eagle like I want. And, you know, even already, we've really put a lot more emphasis on the eagle, and the eagle is really starting to pop a lot more than it did here. There's before the two vignettes and after the two vignettes. Now, I think that first vignette is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to go back to that vignette by clicking on the little uh, button that's here for that first vignette. By the way, if you don't see these overlays, um, what you could do is if you, down here in the toolbar, on the left, it says show edit pins. I keep it on auto. What that means is when I hover over the image, they appear. When I come off the image, they disappear. Um, if you click on that, you could see that there's always selected and never. Also, you could show uh, the selected mask overlay uh, mask by clicking this little checkbox. And there's some uh, keys here that you could use as well. If you hit the O key on your keyboard, you'll see the mask overlay. So you get that red. That's where that first or that second vignette is affecting the eagle's cheek. I'll hit the O key again to turn that off. Now, if I want to temporarily hide these overlays, just hit the H key for hide and they disappeared. I'll hit the H key again and they come back. So just a couple of keyboard shortcuts you should know when you're working with the radio filter. Now I'm going to go back to this first radio filter by clicking on that little button there so it's active. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just not going to make it as dark. So we're going to pull that up a little bit I'll like that. I'll jump back to the second one and I'm going to make that one not as bright. So I'm going to pull that down a little bit. And I think that's a little better. So there's before and there's after. So that's very quickly adding two radio filters to vignette the eagle in such a way that it pops. And hopefully when someone looks at this image, they're going to look at the eagle's cheek and eye and dwell there. That's where I want them to look. I don't want them looking off over here at this big dark bar over there. I want them looking at the eagle. So that's why you, in general, will apply a vignette and specifically for this image, why I did. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.